there's a functional relationship between the price of an iPod Touch P and the weekly demand, S. Looking at the table, notice how we have the price in the first column and the corresponding demand in the second column, and notice how the demand is in thousands. Part A asks to find the linear model that best fits the data using regression and enter the model below. And we're told to round the linear parameter or slope to the nearest hundredth and the constant parameter or the vertical intercept to the nearest one. So the first step is to enter the data into the calculator. To do this, we press the stat key and then enter. And to save some time, I've already entered the price in L1 and the demand in L2. If L1 and L2 contains old data, you can go to the top of the column, press clear, and then enter. Now before we perform the regression, let's look at the scatter plot of the data. To do this, we first need to adjust the window to make sure all of these values will appear on the coordinate plane. So if we press the window key, I've already adjusted the horizontal axis to go from negative 20 to 300, which would accommodate all of the prices. I've also changed the vertical axis to go from negative 20 to 300, which will also accommodate all of the demands. So from here, there's a couple ways to turn on, there's a couple ways to turn on the scatter plot. If we press Y equals, a quick way is to go up to Y1, press enter, and then back down. Notice how the plot one is now highlighted. So if we press graph, we can now see the scatter plot. And now it's perform the linear regression. So we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. We'll press the stat key again. Right arrow wants to calculate. Option four for linear regression, so we press four. We already have the inputs in L1 and the outputs in L2, so these first two entries stay the same. We're not using the frequency list, so let's go down to store regression equation, and we do want to store the equation in Y1. So from here we'll press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and now the equation will be stored in Y1. So now we press down and enter to perform the linear regression. So notice how we have the values of A and B that we need to write our linear model. But remember our function is T of P, so we'll have T of P equals negative 0.4P plus need to round B to the ones place value, so we'll round B to 273. Notice how we were told to round the slope to the nearest hundredth, but for this data it's not needed. So T of P is equal to negative 0.4P plus 273. Now we're told to answer the following two questions using the unrounded model, so we'll be using the model from the calculator not this rounded model here, which means we'll solve these last two questions using the calculator, not by hand. So for part B, we're asked, what does the model predict will be the weekly demand if the price of an iPod Touch is $181? So going back to the calculator, notice how if we press Y equals, we have the regression equation from the calculator in Y1. Notice how if we press graph now, it will show the line over the scatter plot. But again, our goal here is to determine the function output or the demand when the price is $181. So we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode. And now from the home screen, we can evaluate the function Y1 at the input of 181 by entering Y1 of 181. So we'll press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and in parentheses, we enter 181. This will evaluate the model at the price of $181. So we press enter. And remember, this is a demand in thousands, so to find the actual demand, we need to multiply by 1,000. And we are told to round our estimate, or our prediction, to the nearest 100, and therefore the demand will be approximately 200,300. And then following for part C, according to the model, what price should be set in order to have a weekly demand of 231,500 iPod touches? Well, remember the demand or the function output is in thousands, so we're trying to solve the equation T of P equals 231.5.
a function value or function output of 231.5 is a demand of 231,500 iPod touches. So now we'll go back to the calculator and we'll solve this graphically. So let's press Y equals. Notice how we have the model in Y1. So we're going to press enter, go to Y2, and enter the desired function output, which is 231.5. And now we'll press graph. We need to find the input or p-value or price at this point of intersection. So from here we'll press second trace for the calculation menu, option five for intersection. And now we can just press enter three times. So enter, enter, enter. And notice how this is telling us that when the price is approximately $103, the demand will be 231.5 thousand iPods. So our answer is $103. Again, because we're asked to use the unrounded model parameters, we do need to solve part B and C on the calculator. If we use this model, we will not get the correct values. I hope you found this helpful.